Hello. I'm going to talk about the Saw's Etude 11 in E minor from Opus 6. I'm going to start by just playing the first page or the first section of the piece, and I'm going to just play through it slowly so that you can see all of the fingerings and um, things on the left hand here. And then I'm going to go through and just talk about the harmony briefly. Okay, so here is the first section played slowly. And now I'll just talk about the harmony here. So the piece is in E minor. So the opening chord we have in the opening three measures, uh, all E minor harmony. In the fourth measure, So the chord that we have is, it's the two chord in E minor, so it's a two um, half diminished seven chord, F sharp, A, C, there's a diminished triad, and then E, so that's a seventh, so uh, the two chord, F sharp diminished seventh. But we have it with the seventh on the bottom, so it's in third inversion. And we have this sort of pedal E in the bass as well. It's a beautiful chord though. It's almost like A minor. You play A minor, but then you add an F sharp to it. So and Saw also adds an appoggiatura, so the G there, that top note of the first beat of measure four is a dissonant passing tone, accented passing tone, which resolves. And then measure five, so the same harmony again, which is now heading to measure six. So this chord should look fairly familiar to you, a B7 chord, so measures six and seven to just B7. Expect that to resolve to E minor because this is the dominant. So in measure eight, we get that in measure eight. Measure nine, measure nine is a beautiful sort of chromatic way of modulating. Now, now we're going to head to G major, the relative major, and Saw is doing this via D seven just a D chord, sorry, in measure 10. So measure 9 is just this sort of chromatic E minor, E minor, and then a C chord. So the first beat is E minor, the second beat is E minor, the third beat of measure 9 is C uh, in first inversion, and then the fourth beat of measure 9 is uh, C sharp diminished 
chord. So we have C sharp E G, C sharp E G, so C sharp diminished. It's very similar to an A7 chord, which heads to a D chord in measure 10. Measure 11, D7 chord in first inversion. In measure 12, we arrive at G major. Again, with that beautiful appoggiatura or that accented passing tone on the top. Measure 13. All G, G chord there. Measure 14. We have an A minor chord in first inversion, again with the beautiful um, accented passing tone. seventh chord, um, C sharp, E, G, and B flat, if you stacked it in thirds, C sharp diminished seventh, which that C sharp really wants to go to the note D, and it does in measure 16, and then measure 17 is D7 with the seventh in the bass, so it's third inversion. A G chord in first inversion with a, a poggiatura and accented passing tone. Measure 19, a D chord in first inversion with F in the bass. Measure 20, a G chord again with an accented passing tone, A sharp. A minor in first inversion, A minor in uh, root position. So the first two beats is A minor in first inversion, and the second two beats A minor in root position. 23, measure 23, a D7 chord. At the end of the, of the fourth beat of measure 23, so it turns that into a uh, diminished seventh chord there. That's a very common shape. We have tango and sky. Right. That diminished chord. The end of measure 23. And that D sharp wants to go up to the E. So we're essentially, we have this chord, which is the F sharp diminished seventh chord in third inversion, the seventh in the bass. Uh, F, A, F sharp, A, C, E. So that's F sharp diminished seventh in third inversion, the start of measure 24. And then we go to E minor there for the rest of that bar. And then measure 25, another diminished chord. sharp diminished seventh so we're going to expect that to go to a minor g sharp b d f natural but it's in um, first inversion b in the bass third in the bass and then measure 26 that's where we get the a minor Six, the end there, and then measure 27, we have a G chord in second inversion, G major, with that accented passing tone again, it's a really big feature of this study, and then D7, we still have the D in the bass, so the root position, again with the accented passing tone of the poggiatura effect. And measure 28, G. All right, so there is a very sort of uh, cursory look through the harmony of that section. And what I might do is uh, I will create a chord reduction of this with an analysis so you can see the chords and um, the harmony 
the analysis of the harmony and also the I'll, I'll include some of the non-chord tones because they're really important they're a really big feature of this of this study they give a lot of ex expressivity to it so all right if you have any questions um, please feel free to ask me send me an email thanks